Friends, today is Friday, August 11, 2023, and we are wrestling with uh, the first command that Jesus spoke out in the Gospel of Matthew, and we're going to hear it articulated now, again, this time from the Gospel of Mark, and uh, it's the same in Mark, Matthew, and Luke. This is how Mark puts it. After John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God and saying, the time is fulfilled. This is the moment everyone's waiting for. And the kingdom of God has come near to you. You notice Mark reverses that. The kingdom of God has come near. Repent. And he is the first one to use this phrase explicitly uh, that we are now so familiar with in the church. Believe in the gospel, the euangelion, the good news. Repent and believe. Believe in the good news. I love this uh, phrase because it balances things a little for us. Um, Jesus is preaching a reality check. The world's moving in the wrong direction. We need to stop as individuals, begin and, and accept his authority, his royal authority uh, as, as the leader of the kingdom. And if we want to enter into that kingdom, we'll have to move in a new direction. Uh, and so that is a tough message in some ways. It's a, it is a reality check. But um, that doesn't mean that God is an eternal pessimist who has some dark, dour view of human beings and their potential. Uh, he's not someone who thinks by any means that death and decline and disarray are inevitable. But nor is God a pure optimist who thinks people are inherently good and noble and cre can create little utopias all over the world. Instead, he is a realist who knows that uh, we're inherently flawed but that we are restorable and that we can participate in the whole restoration project he's got going on in the world. So Jesus announces a new world that anyone can enter, a kingdom of love and goodness that we can also help to create as well as enjoy uh, once we give up the sovereignty in our lives and we, we submit to his authority. And so that's why the reality check is really good news because it gets us moving in a grand and great and glorious new direction. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we want to be realists like you are about people and about history, not overly pessimistic and, and uh, not Pollyannas who only look at good things and ignore the, the hard things. Uh, the world needs to undergo universal change and so does the heart and life of every person. But we can, as individuals, and together enter into a new world, a kingdom of love and goodness through you. Help us to view this world both truly and graciously. Um, may, may we see real trouble and, uh, and, 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 and genuine issues, but also the power and possibilities of redemption. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.